Hi, this is Jay from Jay's Photography here again with another tutorial. This time we're going to show you how to create the image that you're looking at now. It was a fun family shoot and it's not very hard to do so let me show you how to accomplish this. First off what we need to open up is the base image which is a picture of myself holding an empty frame. You'll see here my setup for the solid white background with the lights on the background. Um, you can do this with pretty much any background that you choose but what we're concentrating on today is getting the images all together in the frame. First off what we need to do is we need to make a selection so I choose my selection tool and I'm going to zoom in so I can get a real good look at where I need to make this selection. Um, I'll do it kind of quick for the tutorial uh, you'll probably want to take a little bit more time and get it more precise uh, for your final image but for this um, for this tutorial this should work here. Once we have that selected you'll see the little marching ants there. What we need to do is make a new layer. Go to your layers palette and create a new layer. Get your paint bucket and your fill tool here. Choose black and while you're on the new layer fill that layer with black. Unselect that. Now basically what you have here is you have a frame with a black square in it. But what this is going to become, this is going to become a clipping mask for our other images. So now, while you're on your uh, new layer with the black square, we need to place another image in there. Go to File, Place, and I'll choose the next image that I want to appear. We we'll take this image here and commit it by clicking the check mark. We'll zoom out a little bit. Now, if you'll go over to your layers palette and put your mouse right in between your new layer and the layer with the black square, hold down Alt on a PC and click. And that will create a clipping mask. And you can see that image is now clipped to just the inside of the frame. Now we can move this image around to where we want it. We can transform the image, control T, and we will adjust this image to how we want it to appear in our frame. Now that we have our image where we want it, uh, hit the check mark again to commit that layer. Now, the process that we just done originally, we want to duplicate that same process. So you want to zoom in here to the frame that my wife is holding. Grab your selection tool. And choose the inside of this frame. Make another quick selection here. create another layer and we fill this layer with black also now what we simply do is go get another image file place we get an image of my oldest son hit the check mark to commit that layer and we'll make another clipping mask Remember, go in between the two layers, hold down Alt, and click. And he is clipped there now. Hit Control T to transform. We want to scale this image down. And we want to move it in place where we want it. There we go, and click the check mark to tell it OK for the transformation. Now, one last clipping mask we have to make, so we need to zoom in again on the image of my son, make another selection of the inside of the frame that he is holding. Like I said, you may want to take a little bit more time and get it more accurate than mine is here. But there's our selection. Create another new layer. 
fill that layer with black. We go file, place, and we choose our last image. Hit the check mark to commit it. Hold down Alt and click between the two layers to clip it. Control T to transform it. And we move it in place where we want it. Once you have that in place where you want it, you can commit that layer by clicking the check mark. Now, we have that image there. The next thing to do is flatten your image. You can go to Layer, Flatten Image. Make you a selection where you want to crop your image. Then go to Image, Crop. There you have it. There's the final image that we came up with. It was fairly quick and simple using the clipping mask. Um, not something very difficult. Like I said, take a little bit more time. You'll get it a little bit more precise than I did. But there you have it. Thank you.